Pregnancy causes a lot of changes to occur in a woman's body, and one of these changes is naturally occurring insulin resistance. This helps to ensure that the growing fetus gets the nutrients they need, and in most cases, a woman's body compensates and um, Basically, if her pancreas is functioning properly, the body can compensate and there's no problem. But if a woman's pancreas doesn't compensate, then she'll end up with gestational diabetes. And um, this is always screened around 24 to 28 weeks gestation. And if the first test comes back a little bit abnormal, like anywhere between 120 and 140, then the doctor will recommend a second test, which is a little more sensitive. It's a three hour test instead of just a one hour. And if those results also come back abnormal, then you're given the diagnosis of gestational diabetes. It can be managed one of three ways. Sometimes the case isn't very severe, you're just a little bit over the threshold and all you need to do is watch what you eat. The doctor counsels with you about testing your blood sugar on a regular basis and, and eating well. They usually set up appointments with um, other specialists that can help you and we just monitor you very closely during the pregnancy to make sure your blood sugars are stable. Sometimes that's not enough and oral medication or even insulin injections are necessary to keep a woman's blood sugar under control. Either way, no matter how it's being treated, it's very important to make sure that your, your blood sugars stay within a good range because if they're out of control, then this has all kinds of implications for both you and the baby. It can cause serious complications. So it's always a good idea to listen to your doctor, to keep your appointments and to monitor and follow their recommendations. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.